Google has released a few new features in Google Forms that allows users to customize the font in a Google Form. The first way to customize the font is to click on the palette icon along the top. And from here, we can change the header, the question, and the text, font style, and size. So let's take a look at what it would look like if I were to change the header font. And of course, this is the largest it goes, so unfortunately, I don't really have many options there. I can also change the text. That definitely might be difficult for my students to read, so maybe I would like to choose a different font. And of course, don't forget, if you change your mind, you can always use the undo button at the top. Another way to customize the font is to click inside the text. And from here, users have access to a rich text editor. And from here, you can select text or you can select the entire thing. And you can bold, you can italicize, underline, you can even insert a hyperlink if you would like to. And one of my favorite new things is lists and bullets. And although we have the option of using the undo key, there's also a clear formatting or remove formatting icon that you can bring it back to its original state. One thing I noticed is that the rich text editor is not available in the question answers. So although I can customize what the question would look like, I can't customize what the question answer would look like. And that might be important to some teachers, especially if they want to italicize or bold or underline a specific part of a text. So my workaround is to use a website called Fancy Text Generator. There are several of them online. This just happens to be my favorite one because over on the right hand side, there are also some fun other things that I like to use like emojis. So for example, I'm just going to type in the word test. And here I can scroll through and I can see all these fun fonts. I caution you because some of these might be hard for your students to read. But for example, if I wanted a text just to be underlined, I can simply scroll through until I find it, or I can use a shortcut on my keyboard, Control F or Command F on a Mac. And I'm going to type underline, and here is the text that I want, and I'm going to go copy this style. Oh, I guess I lost it, so I'll type it in again. I'll hit copy, I'll go back to my Google Sheet, and I'll paste it in by hitting Control V or Command V on a Mac. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.